Welcome to Sailing El Haleo. I am a mid-40-year-old who in my early 40s became disillusioned with modern society and all of its promises and pitfalls. Feeling that life was getting a little too boring, I decided to do the logical thing, which is to buy a 40-year-old sailboat and spend the next three or four years converting it into a long-range off-grid sailing vessel. Or it might have just been a midlife crisis, who knows. <laughs> From there, I enlisted the help of my trusty crew, and we've been spending the last three years going up and down the east coast of the United States, learning how to sail, learning how to read charts, how to navigate, how to read tides, and basically just how to survive on a sailboat. From here, we plan on spending one more summer up north, doing one last round of upgrades before finally escaping the United States in late 2024 or early 2025. These are our adventures. Feel free to come along if you'd like. This week, we finally escape Fernandina Beach and get back on the road headed north. From here, we head up to Jekyll Island, which is one of our three major staging points on our route back to Delaware City. And from there, we head up a river that we've never gone up before, which is Frederica River, so we can check out the remains of Fort Frederica, which was used during the Revolutionary War. I guess we might as well go ahead and get right into it. Grab a drink, climb aboard, and let's get going. After a couple of trouble-filled days in Fernandina Beach, we were chomping at the bit to start heading north again. Normally I put the camera on a static mount, but I know that shot gets a little boring after you've seen it 7,000 times, so I decided to try something a little different here, and I put the GoPro on a head mount, so you're actually looking over the bill of my baseball cap here, and I'm not sure how well this is going to work out. Um, it's a little frantic, all the looking around and stuff, um, but I don't know. We'll see. Let me know if you like this look better than the static shots i'm i'm not sure if i like it or not so so here is a not often seen shot of the cockpit while we're motoring and as you can tell the bimini top is getting very old and worn and ragged and we tried to re i say we my mother tried to re-sew the bimini top last summer using new sombrello and new windows and it didn't work out and that was not her fault that was my fault with measuring and stuff I just didn't do a good enough job so it ended up not working and we had to revert some of it back to the old top so basically it's the old fabric with new windows and that kind of worked I did have to modify the metal metal frame of the bimini top to get it to just kind of cobble something together to work for this season and that is my biggest project for this upcoming summer I want to make a hard dodger or a hard bimini top I guess that wouldn't make it a bimini top, but I want to make a hard dodger or all of that fabric going over the uh, the entrance to the boat. I want that to be fixed in place and solid, and I can do it out of either wood or fiberglass. I kept my eyes open. You know, most are made out of fiberglass, but I did see a few wood ones this year in Florida that looked really nice. And I think with all of the wood accents on El Haleo, a wood one would look really good, but there are some durability issues with that, and also I'm a crap woodworker. But, you know, to be fair, I'm a crap fiberglass person as well. So, um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. I really don't have a plan. I've been thinking about it. Normally I can get some sort of plan together. When I get back, I'm going to try and get like some corrugated plastic or corrugated cardboard and take the old bimini top off and see if I can just kind of rough something up that'll work. Um, I'll probably end up, end up going with fiberglass just because I think it'll be easier to work with, but I think a wood one would look really nice. So, but then I'll have to invest in a router and a lot of other stuff. So I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Do you guys think a wood top would look good? I think it would look great. It's just, I don't know that I have the skills to pull it off. So let me know down below. Would you rather see fiberglass or a wood hard dodger? Hey y'all, we are back at Jekyll Island in Georgia, and I'm going to try and kind of stay down here out of the wind. Uh, right over there is St. Andrew Sound, and then just on the other side of Jekyll Creek, like two miles, is St. Simon Sound. So we're going to get uh, going that way here shortly. This is one of our major staging points. 
So today was very busy. Um, we got two loads of laundry done in, dried, all of our bedding is washed. Pretty much everything is uh, clean that we have. All the dog blankets and everything are washed. I do have a couple of jackets that I haven't washed um, for maybe a month, month and a half. Um, a couple of fleece jackets. So I do have enough water to wash those. So I think I will wash them in the morning. And then tomorrow we're gonna head over here to Jekyll Harbor Marina and get loaded up on fuel and water. And this here is a very reasonably priced marina for fuel. They've got great prices on diesel. So this is one of our major staging points. Um, we like to get have everything done, get rid of all of our trash, get all of our laundry done, um, and then fill up before we head north. Our next major stopping um, point will be in the Waccamaw River in South Carolina at the Wakawachi Marina. They've also got really decent, reasonably priced fuel. Um, so that'll be our next major stop. But that's quite a ways away. That's even north of Charleston. It's actually closer to the South Carolina, North Carolina border. Um, it's just below like Myrtle Beach. So it's uh, it's quite quite high up in South Carolina. So it's a, it's a slog to get up there, but under normal conditions, you know, when we take on a full load of water, it'll actually last us about a month. So we should be able to make it up there, no problem. And our fuel is almost perfect. Uh, perfectly spaced to get between here and then to Wakawachi and then from Wakawachi up to Atlantic Yacht Basin which is in um, Chesapeake Virginia and those three places have the best fuel prices in all of the intracoastal waterways so we're kind of um, perfectly spaced here and we are fighting some pretty strong tides right now I don't know if you guys can see um, the mud is exposed over there and then over here, right in front of us as well, you can see that's all exposed mud. And the tide's actually going to go out another half a foot yet. So there's one tiny vein that runs right through here. Uh, we're actually in about 20 feet of water. You wouldn't you wouldn't think it by by where we're sitting with all of the <laughs> the uh, exposed shore around us. But uh, yeah, there's one deep spot here. So yeah, tomorrow. Uh, We'll do another load of laundry, then I'll go and get filled up. And I think they don't open until eight o'clock tomorrow. And by then I, we might try and make a run up to, it's only like 11 miles, but half of it will be going against the current, which really stinks. Uh, so we, I wanna go up to, uh, what is it? It's uh, Frederica, Fort Frederica, which I've never been to. It's on, it's on the uh, Frederica River, which is an offshoot of the Intracoastal Waterway. And it's a little tricky to get in there. There are some shallow spots, but you can get in there uh, if you go on a rising tide, which we can do tomorrow. And I'd like to check that out. I don't know that you can go to shore there, but you can anchor right in front of it. So at least I can get the drone out and uh, check it out and see what's going on there. So. I think that's another old uh, Revolutionary War type fort, uh, so it'd be it'd be worth checking out. So, anyway, I hope y'all are well. I'm kind of a windbag. I apologize for that. Uh, I guess I hope y'all are well. Hope it's warming up where you are, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye. The next morning, we got up early and headed over to Jekyll Harbor Marina to fill up on fuel and water. It takes about an hour to take on a full load of fuel and water, and from there we went through Jekyll Creek into St. Simon Sound, and it was such a calm, nice day, we decided to go all the way up to Frederica River and to Fort Frederica.
And that's all we have time for this week. I would like to give a massive shout out to my Patreon crew. Without your guys' support, I wouldn't make these videos. And my Patreon crew is Joan and Juddy Judnick, Val and Chris Alcorn, Denise and Eli Sackett, Sherry Erickson, Deb Shaw, Matthew Spotton, Peter Allen, and Natalie Linehan. Thank you guys so very much. Your support really means the world to me. I do have one legacy patron member, and her name is Joan Linbo. Unfortunately, she has passed on, but she lives on in our hearts forever. We really miss you, Joan. If you are interested in joining our Patreon crew, there is a link in the description down below, and that'll take you to our Patreon page where you can sign up. And there are hundreds, uh, literally hundreds of extra videos and photos of our travels, and I try and keep everything there up to date and post at least once or twice a week. So it gives you a little peek behind the curtain. If you do like our videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. That'll help us out more than you'll ever know, and that actually doesn't cost you anything. So hit that like button. Alrighty, I hope you all are well, and we'll see you next week.